Hello everyone. My name is Janine and I'm the children's pastor here at All Saints Church in Linfield. Now I thought I'd put together this video for grown-ups to really help us when it comes to buying Christmas gifts for children that have the Christian message at the heart of it. So I've teamed up with the Good Book Company who have sent me some brilliant resources that we're going to look at today and all the links to their resources can be found in the description section. So if you see something that you think might be good for a child in your life, then do click on those links and follow it up. So I'm gonna start with something that actually spans across the different ages, and that is a CD. I'm gonna hold it nice and close. This is Sing the Bible Family Christmas, and it's by Slugs and Bugs. Now I know that at home, we probably don't listen to CDs very often, but for me and my family, we always have CDs in the car, especially for any of those journeys and pop it on. Now, the brilliant thing about Slugs and Bugs music is that it is straight from scripture. So when the children are learning the words, they're actually singing scripture from the Bible. So nothing more, nothing less. And that is wonderful to hear. Now this CD, has a big band kind of swing Christmassy feel to most of the songs. And there are a few on there that even through the first time of playing, my children got the words to and started singing straight away. So if you like that kind of swing, big band feel, this is definitely one to recommend. So let's start with our youngest children. I really recommend this book, now the Christmas Promise actually came out last year and this is the board book version. So it's a bit smaller, it's more robust so it can withstand being chewed. It's full of brilliant illustrations telling us the Christmas story in a really simple way. So sticking with our little ones, I really recommend this book. It's called Wherever You Go, I Want To Know and it's by Michelle Kruger. Now this one is a lovely one to read to your child because it's told from the adult's point of view. So from a parent or a grandparent or a loved one. And it says whatever they do in life, so whatever job they might have, whatever they go on to do, that actually believing in Jesus is the best thing that they can do. And it's really sweet and it has lovely illustrations and it's a lovely keepsake book just to remind children that you love them and so does Jesus. So looking at the slightly older children now, perhaps between five and nine, here are some great resources for them. This is a really fun one. It's Seek and Find Old Testament Bible Stories. Now, if you like Where's Wally, this is kind of the book for you. So what it is, is lovely illustrations. You have a Bible story, nice, short and clear. And then you have things to find on the page, different amounts of things to find. And it's really, it's a lovely book. Now my four-year-old really enjoyed trying to find the different pictures and I read her the story. My seven-year-old took the book, ran off with it and did it all by himself because he loved it so much. And so different age ranges, but lovely, big illustrations. Again, this one comes in about seven pounds 50 and it's a hardback, so that's quite a nice one um, and lots of fun. So if you haven't got this one, I'd really recommend it. It's called The Littlest Watchman. And it's told the nativity story from a boy called Benjamin. And what I like about this one is that it does quote scripture through it. So although the story around the nativity is uh, made up because we're looking at it from a different point of view, but actually it takes us through being patient, what we're waiting for, what it means when we uh, get bored or distracted. It's a really lovely book for kids. Again, if you've got slightly older ones that are happy um, to read, it's this kind of text, that kind of love of text. The wording is lovely and simple, um, but that's a, a really lovely one as well. So the next book is called Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. And if you loved The Christmas Promise, then you're going to love this one because Catalina is back with this one and it's got the kind of repetition that you'd expect in it. Um, this one, as opposed to the Christmas promise, 
covers much more of the story of Jesus. It goes through Old Testament promises and then about the birth of Jesus and slightly beyond. So it's a bit more detailed. Again, it's really lovely, lovely illustrations. It's nice and simple. It's really engaging. It goes all the way through about the hope that we have and that we're waiting for when Jesus returns. And so this one is all about being ready. So that's a lovely, great one as well. So for slightly older ones, probably aged between nine and 14, maybe a bit older as well. Um, if you've got a child who's really creative, maybe they make their own movies, uh, they're artistic, I really recommend this one. It's called The Blockbuster Bible. And this one is uh, set out in a way that it's a movie script and it's brilliant. There are interviews, special guests, newspaper articles and cuttings, and it takes you through the whole Bible, um, dipping in and out of the different books, but really good teaching. I like this one as well, because as it starts, it gives you an idea of the Bible overview. It tells you which books of the Bible are law, history, poetry, prophecy, and letters. So it's a bit of teaching alongside these really lovely, well laid out movie scripts, great illustrations, but there is some substance to this one. So as they get older, this is a great one to get them um, looking at. So the Blockbuster Bible. So if you have older ones, year six and up, then this is a great book. It's called Light in the Darkness. Now, what's interesting is that this is from Luke chapters one and two, and it is faithful scripture. So they haven't added or taken anything away from the scripture, but they've laid it out in a way that's really engaging. It is for older ones. It is a bit darker and a bit scarier with its images. But I quite like the fact that when we see angels, we don't see them as floating fairies, but actually as messengers of God, that the first thing that angels say to us is do not be afraid. They would have been scary so it's quite nice that this is a much more grown-up version of that so that's a great one for your old ones um, and they're interested in the history of the church then this is a great book so it's called god's timeline the big book of church history and what this does is it goes through the different aspects of the church so it starts with the early church, what that would have looked like, medieval church, the reforming church, missionary church, and modern church. And as you go through this book, it's really clearly laid out. It goes into different timelines. It talks about famous people. Um, it's just, it's, it's brilliant. And actually as an adult, I really enjoyed reading this one. So uh, maybe recommended for adults as well, uh, who want to know a bit more about the history of the church. This is a great book. So in our last section, we're going to look at devotionals. Now, if you have never used a devotional before, what it is, is a very short Bible study, normally five minutes, that gives you a Bible verse and some questions to look at. Now I've got two, which I think are family devotionals. They're lovely. This is a better than anything Christmas and a Jesus Christmas. Now the better than anything Christmas, it covers the gospels, and a Jesus Christmas covers God's promises and then Jesus' life and death as well and resurrection. So these are really well laid out. And what you have, it's a daily devotional. Now this one, they go through December, but you can do them anytime. It doesn't just have to be um, a December devotional. Very clearly laid out. So you've got your Bible passage to read. It says explore, then it explains the Bible passage and it asks questions and it has different codes for different ages. So it has more complex questions for older children, easier questions for younger children. And then it has some facts at the bottom. It's a really lovely devotional that will last through a month. And what I love about this series is it says, your tips for success is to be brief, be real, and be consistent. And I think if we can do that with our children, then we'll have them completely captivated by this series. Say, so be brief, be real, be consistent. So I love these ones. So these are to be done with the family. And um, this, if you have got uh, an older child who is happy to open the Bible on their own, 
um, you can do it with them. But this one is a devotional that lasts a year. So it goes through each day of the year. It's a very short, um, a very short Bible passage and then a, one question for them to write an answer in. So we're talking five minutes tops, one Bible passage, one question, short answer. What's brilliant about this daily devotional is that it includes Sundays. So when it comes to a Sunday, there's a special page and it helps our young people to take notes on the sermon. And so whether you're in church physically or whether you're watching online, they can take the book with them, note down what they've learned from the sermon and it helps to engage with conversation around what we've learned about Jesus that week. So meeting with Jesus one for your older children and it's a whole year of devotional. So that's it from me. Hopefully there's something in there that you think would be great for a child or young person in your life. A big thank you to the Good Book Company for sending us a box of their books. Uh, it has been brilliant to explore those. Do check out our Facebook and our YouTube channels uh, for more of our teaching, for our All Saints kids work, and also check out the links that will take you to all the resources we've looked at today. Well, it's been lovely to be with you. I hope you have a great Christmas. And if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments box. of the earth break forth into singing oh mountains oh forest and everything in it for the Lord has redeemed Jacob for the Lord has redeemed Jacob for the Lord has redeemed Jacob and will be glorified in Israel for the Lord Well done.